So a question that comes up often is why do you switch the direction of the inequality symbol when multiplying or dividing by a negative value? Well to explore this what we're going to do is we're going to just pick two random numbers to start. 2 and 3. And clearly 2 is less than 3. Well the property of equality tells us if we do the same thing to both sides of an equation or in this case an inequality we still keep things equal. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 2 to the left and we'll add 2 to the right and we get some new values 4 and 5 and clearly once again 4 is still less than 5 let's try some subtraction this time we'll subtract 7 from the left and we'll subtract 7 from the right so 4 minus 7 is negative 3 and 5 minus 7 is negative 2 and from our work with integers we know that negative 3 is still less than negative 2. Hold on, we're almost there. The next time around let's do some multiplication. Let's multiply the left side by 4 and the right side by 4. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 and negative 2 times 4 is negative 8 and yes, no surprise, negative 12 is still less than negative 8. Now let's multiply by a negative to watch what happens. We're going to multiply by negative 2 on the left and by negative 2 on the right. When we do this, negative 2 times negative 12 is 24 and negative 8 times negative 2 is 16. So notice now that 24 is not less than 16. 24 is in fact greater than 16. So to keep the math statement true, we need to switch the direction of the sign. And that is the case anytime you multiply or divide by a negative. You need to switch the direction of the inequality in order to keep the math sentence true. And that is why you switch the direction of the inequality symbol when multiplying or dividing by a negative number.